the director of the general's daughter. As a director, there always comes the time when you have to cut down your film and lose what are perfectly good scenes. What you're about to see are some of the scenes I had to lose in this film. They nearly all deal with the romantic tension between John and Madeline's characters. When I finally put the whole story together, I felt that these relationship issues were superfluous and detracted from the real emotional core of the story, the tragedy of a betrayed young woman. Every time I came back from the assignment, he interrogated me, and I just don't like being interrogated. Well, no one does. What about you? What about me? Well, I hope Brussels wasn't the last time you had a woman. You're <laughs> right. It was the last time that it mattered. Wow. <laughs> Explain true emotion. Are you all right, Paul? I said it was the last time that it mattered. I didn't say that I didn't have fun having guilt-free, meaningless sex. <laughs> missed you. I missed you. Do you think we could ever be friends without being lovers? Sure. I just have to find a place to get neutered. <laughs> These scenes are all well written, wonderfully acted, and beautifully shot. They just didn't fit. Have a seat, please. Sit, please. You may smoke if you wish. No, thank you. Coffee? Tea? No, no thanks. thanks. I don't have to tell you both what a terrible tragedy this is for the general. No, sir. We don't want it to become a tragedy for the army. Yes, sir. Captain Campbell's death occurring as it did on post and occurring in the manner that it did. Well, it will cause a sensation. Yes. Do you have any suspects? No, sir. Any leads? Not at the moment. Sir, how long have you been with the general? Since Vietnam. Hmm. She must have been very close to Elizabeth Campbell. I watched her take her first step. I see. Please. CID investigators are here. Inspector Keem arrived. Why'd you leave all that stuff in the basement? I figured you were too stupid to find it. Well, we did. Now who's too stupid? Well, I got what I needed out, the videos and such things. Well, ain't you the smart boy? Uh, but the smart boy about to be replaced by the good old FBI. You know, when I first met you, I chalked your hostility up to a jurisdictional pissing contest. And then I realized when I went down to the basement, you're just trying to protect your son. You can't prove shit. No but I'm sure the mayor won't be thrilled with his deputy and a captain from the base doing the old whips and chains thing. Woody? Brenner, there's a phone call for Agent Sunhill. It's her husband. <clears throat> Brenner here. Bren Brenner? What the hell are you doing there? Same thing I was doing in Brussels, only better, because I gave up smoking and fried foods. Where's my wife? Your wife. What's the matter? You have a problem with the concept of divorce? Divorce? Did she tell you we're divorced? Put that lying bitch on the phone right now. I'll never call you back. 
problems? Let's just talk about your son. What do you want? The contents of that room remain secret. Have a little bonfire, burn it all. No one will be the wiser. That's destroying evidence. Better than destroying lives, including your sons. You've done it again. <clears throat> Skunk number three. Well, you should feel bad. I'm not all that clever. Get me Sarah. She's not bad yet. Now here is how the film could have ended. spends three days with a woman, doesn't even say goodbye. You're pouting again. Your husband called yesterday. I spoke to him. Mm. You lied to me. Yeah. Well, what would you have said if I told you that I was separated and that I just hadn't filed yet? I'd say call me when you get your act together. That's always been your problem, Paul. You are too passive. Thank you.